Hi everyone, just a quick episode of Gaffering Gear today. So in today's episode, I'm just explaining a little setup that I've made that can receive the commands from my CRMX radio controller and then distribute them down five DMX cables around my set. I'm sure if you're a gaffer, you've encountered this problem. You've got a lot of lights that, that you're running DMX to, but they don't have built-in CRMX receivers and you can only afford to have so many of these. I've got six, I wish I had you know, 15 or 20, but I can't afford them. So the problem I found is if I'm running DMX cabled from one light to another light to another light to another light to another light um, on a location where the lights are on the floor, that just simply becomes a nightmare because sooner or later I've got to move a light and I have to disconnect the DMX chain in order to do that. So I was thinking if I can't afford to have a, a a CRMX receiver on every light, the next best option would be to have the ability to run separate DMX cables to the individual lights. That way, if I've got to pick up and move a light, I don't have to you know, disconnect the, the DMX from the other lights around it. You know, I just have to move that light and um, move the DMX cable with it. So here is, here is my solution. So I've got these a couple of these packs that I've made up. So this is a CRMX receiver. It then feeds into a DMX splitter. So this has a, a DMX output on the back and four DMX outputs on the front. So I can feed five cable runs out of this box and it's all running off a V-mount battery. So I'll just run you through what I've got here. All right, so let's go through all of the componentry that I've got here. So I've got a strap that holds everything together. We've got a, um, what's this called? CRMX Lumen Radio Receiver, which powers of uh, USB. Now what I have found, and I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this too, is if you try to power these off the USB ports that are built into the V-mount batteries, the USB ports just shut down because the receiver's not pulling enough power. The next component I have is a D-tap to USB adapter. So I just got these off eBay. So this just plugs into the D-tap on the battery and then um, the receiver plugs into the USB port here. So that powers that. And um, the next thing is this little uh, box here, which I got from Technical Art Solutions in Melbourne. Uh, this is a four output opto isolated desktop DMX splitter. That's a lot of words. All right, so uh, why I bought this, what this thing can do is you can feed a DMX signal into it. Uh, this is powered by the way. You send a DMX signal into it and then this can amplify and distribute that signal out. So for example, I might be on the end of my DMX cable run and I can't put any more cable in without the signal deteriorating. I can use this as a booster box to then send the signal further out. Uh, you can also use it as a splitter to send it out in four directions, but they're isolated. So what the, the advantage of this is, if you've got some DMX problem like say, uh, you have uh, lights, a light that's not terminated or, or an issue like that, it doesn't feed back down into the box and contaminate the rest of your set. It's isolated at this point. So any problems with your DMX, your DMX runs off each port won't affect the, the other ports. And of course it has a DMX uh, on the back for a loop through. And this all runs off, off batteries. It just so happens that the voltage range on this was 12 to 24 volts DC. And I just happened to have V-mount battery plates that could plug into this. Now I looked around online, I tried to find a purpose-built solution for this, but everything seems to be studio orientated, like um, it would be a 19 inch rack mount, or it's built into a power distro system, or it doesn't have any battery capability, or it's got 12 or 24 um, outlets on it, or it's three pin XLR, not five pin XLR. Um, all I really wanted was something small like this, you know, four or five outlets that runs off a battery, I just dumped two of these on either side of my set now and I'm covered. All right, hope that helped you out. See you on the next episode. Take care. Now, it just occurred to me that you don't necessarily need to have the CRMX receiver here. You could just feed DMX in from one of your lights and then use this to distribute across the rest of your set.